Hey guys, this is RD Techie, and in today's video, we're gonna walk through how you can customize your alerts using Stream Elements and their overlay manager. So one of the things I do for clients is make alerts, and uh, setting up these alerts are pretty straightforward, but it can also be a little confusing when you don't know where to look. So it's gonna just be a very quick video today. I'm just gonna walk you through it. First of all, you need to be using Stream Elements uh, and OBS Live is a good one to use, but Stream Elements is where we're going to set up everything. Um, if you're using a normal OBS studio, you could still do this, so that's fine. Even if you're using Streamlabs OBS, you can still do this. It's not a problem. You just need the correct browser link, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So first thing you do is obviously log in. I'm using Twitch. You can use any of these amazing uh, video distribution networks, sites. If you're using YouTube, go for that. I'm using Twitch, and I'm going to be using my uh, bot account. So I think it's already logged in there. So it just gives you a pop-up to log in. Just complete your login, and this is the bot account. And obviously, it's empty. I only use this for tutorials, and it's also my bot. So, you know. Um, I'm going to go to my, my overlay section, and I'm going to go to set it up on my BRB section. So I'm going to click edit here, and it's going to load up my brb screen which we did in an earlier tutorial uh i am going to do an updated tutorial with the new uh interface very soon but this is just to get the alerts done so now that we're here it's the next step and the next step is basically the most crucial and easiest if you ask me is if you go click that and you go click alerts and you click alert box now this gives you the alert box this is what operates your entire alert so if you want your alerts just you you want it you'll be able to make sure it stays in that screen size that's the size so if you want it to go like full screen if you have a full screen alert some people do i think i personally have a almost a full screen alert uh in that case you just go and adjust the width here uh 1080 there you go and uh you just if you want to hit center there you go done okay so now that's a full screen alert i'm gonna hit save and of course it has its default alerts uh, Streamlabs also comes with their default alerts uh, this is the default one so if you want to test it out you click emulate i'm gonna take preview off of stream because i don't want to risk getting a double echo of the sound there okay so that is the default sound that is the sound you get by default from stream elements you don't have to you can use it there's nothing wrong with using it but some people like changing it up. Some people like putting songs. I like putting old school songs and uh, I used to have heavy metal songs because it'll scare the crap out of me every time it happened. What I use personally is a song by Flock of Seagulls. I've already uploaded it. Uh, this is my follow alert. So I'm gonna click. If you wanna test it out, you can just click I'm on that. And rocks and the It's it's a lengthy one, but I like having it because I my alert is also fairly lengthy. It's not too lengthy uh, The ideal uh, frame of time I would say for an alert should be around five to ten seconds anything about ten seconds and you're risking it being very dragging on I, I would say the sweet spot for me is five seconds But even my alert some of the ten seconds and that's fine uh, quick note stream lab sometimes requires you to have a 10 second clip or also doubles it so just if you're using stream labs just keep that in mind and uh, i'm gonna change the video as well i have an animation here which is my follower alert i'm gonna click that you can make it in anything i use after effects to make mine and then import it into um, a webm format compress it into that and then you use that so that's my animation now we're gonna hit save here and that saves it to the browser link and the good thing is if you've done your overlay and you've copied over these overlay links this updates your overlay so you don't need to get a second link this is something that's amazing with stream elements and uh, this is why stream elements is the less cpu intensive or just process intensive uh, of the two when you compare uh, stream labs obs and stream elements because stream elements each element can each uh, part of it each part of your overlay can all be merged in into one browser source so as far as the computer is concerned as far as the performance is concerned it's just one 
browser source. Whereas in Streamlabs, you gotta make them separate. So the computer has to take more browser windows. So imagine if one browser source is one tab or one window of Chrome, you are going to have multiple windows of Chrome and that's gonna add more and more to you. That said, the browser source itself will increase in size the more you add to it. So keep that in mind. If you're heavy, if you're adding a heavy animation, it will become a pretty big browser source. So do you do need to keep that in mind, but Stream Elements does it right by compressing it all into one link. It makes it easier for you to update. You update it in one thing, it updates across the board as far as you're using the same link. All right, so that's uh, the follower alert. And next thing you can do is if you know CSS, I don't sadly, if I did, I would be awesome. Uh, if you do know, you can enable custom CSS and it'll open a CSS editor for you. You do, That, you know, if you do know the thing, don't go in blind. I am sure there are tons of YouTube tutorials that'll help you through it if you don't know it. So, uh, but I haven't really used any of those. So I am not in a place to judge or tell you. There is TTS. For text-to-speech, I wouldn't uh, advise enabling it for follows, but you can do it for subs and uh, cheer. But just so you know, when you get someone gifts a sub, it repeats constantly. So if you want to just use it on cheer for them to just troll you with messages, that can also be done very easily. You can choose a voice name like that, and you can you can select the volume. Uh, I would always keep it 75%. Whatever default is fine. Uh, if you want to change some other alerts, there's all these alerts and the I'm gonna show you the host one next because it adds another thing called variables so the variables are things that they can show up so I'm gonna do a test alert right now of a host I'm gonna do a toast of 10 see the the variables show up as blue so brandy and 10 so brandy is the name variable and 10 is the number so if you want to show how many people have been uh, coming through with the raid or the host you can use the amount variable, which is right here. If you don't want to show it off, that's perfectly fine too. You just remove it. And if you want to edit these things, that's possible. Uh, if your whole theme is like a bandit cave and something, you can do uh, is now hosting my stream with, uh, I'm just gonna hit save. I guess it does that. I'm hosting my stream with 10 bandits. There you go, there you go. You can do that and you can edit the message itself the variables do leave them alone because they need them correctly inside the bracket spelled correctly everything is very sensitive in that so we just leave that alone uh other than that that is pretty much it for the uh alerts now if you want to go in and edit more you can there's the purchase alert is connected to the stream elements merch store so if you use that I just use the default one for that, I believe. But um, there are ways to do it. The only thing is if you've made many overlays, so this is the BRB overlay we had here. Uh, I'm gonna hit save and then hit back. And this is the BRB overlay. We also made a game overlay. Then I'd have to go in there and remake the whole alert thing because as far as stream elements is concerned, game does not have an alert box so you if you're playing a game you get a follow the alerts won't show up so you have to make sure each overlay you have has an alert box and each of them are configured uh the way i recommend doing is when you're making a, your first overlay make the alert box make the alert box then duplicate the overlay and change the rest of the stuff because the alert box you don't want to mess around with too many times Another easier way to do it, it, it's the smart way if you can afford a little bit of a performance hit, is to have a browser source just for your alert box. So that's simple. You click a create blank overlay, it's gonna open up a new overlay for you. 1080p, that's fine. You add a widget, you go alerts, alert box, right? You put it in the middle, you would customize it, you click save, and you go alert box. Now, what you do is you get the link, save it, you you get this link and I'll, this is the link. That link, you put it on every scene. So then you just need to edit one alert box and every other scene gets alert, uh, automatically updated because they're using the same browser link. That said, this is adding an extra browser tab or browser source into each scene. That may be more of a performance hit than you wanna get. So that's, that's up to you depending on your PC, your system. But most of the time, uh, when you set up an alert box, you're pretty much setting it up once and then you're, you're never going in there to fix it unless it's to change like a song for another song. So uh, I still suggest just having the alert box within 
the overlay uh, browser source because it's better than adding another browser source just for the alert bar. But that's it for me today. This is already techie. I will be doing another video soon about the new overlay editor and how they revamped it. I love it. I love using it because it changed a lot of things and made it a lot easier to find everything. So we're going to be jumping into that soon. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitch, I would be super duper appreciative and uh, you can watch me play and uh, die a lot on cod and red dead and all those other games so thank you for watching have an awesome day stay home stay safe and as always wash your freaking hands goodbye